Hi, it's Carol Roth for Goldline. Today we're going to debate whether we're headed towards a recession or a full-blown financial crisis. Some of the people who told us that the economy was doing just great are starting to admit signs of weakness. A recession is one thing, but a broader financial crisis is something else entirely. We've already seen the real implications in crisis for more than two years of high inflation, and we had a meltdown in the banking sector. So is a recession the only concern ahead, or is there something bigger? I thought it would be helpful to look back at the Great Recession financial crisis to revisit the timeline. In the rearview mirror, it is sometimes hard to remember the way things unfolded and the duration of the crisis. In addition, I'm going to share some information on Goldline, who can be a resource for any precious metals hedging you are doing to prepare for what's ahead. In terms of the highlights, well, I guess they're rather the lowlights of the Great Recession financial crisis. We begin back in late February of 2007, when Freddie Mac announces tighter standards for purchasing subprime mortgage-related securities. Over the next several months, we saw bankruptcies and credit down rates. Then, on September 18, 2007, the Fed starts its reduction of interest rates with a 50 basis point cut. But just weeks later, on October 9, 2007, the Dow hits a record high. And that's just a couple of months before the recession officially begins. But it wasn't until March of 2008, when Breer Stearns collapsed, and all the way till September 2008 for Lehman Brothers. This was followed by a number of bailouts and the first round of quantitative easing at the end of November 2008. The supposed official end of the Great Recession in the U.S. doesn't come until June 2009, the same month that GM filed for bankruptcy. Then, in October 2009, unemployment hits 10%, and by December of 2009, housing foreclosures hit record levels of 2.9 million for the year. It takes all the way until August of 2012 for the Dow to hit a new record high. That's more than three years after the official end to the Great Recession. You can see that the unraveling of the various financial and economic components took quite a while to happen. If today's economic backdrop is anything like this, we could be in the first third to half of this type of a timeline. Obviously, the environment today is different, so the timeline won't be entirely apples to apples, but given the scope and duration of destructive monetary and fiscal policy, it is very possible that there are more severe implications to come. Given that residential housing is in much better shape today than in the mid to late aughts, that's less likely to cause a systemic issue. Corporate real estate, on the other hand, particularly the office building component, is causing substantial concerns. Various analysts and investors are starting to sound the alarm bells, including Morgan Stanley, which noted that more than half of commercial real estate mortgage debt needs to be refinanced in the next two years. In terms of the office sector, CNBC reported that almost a quarter of mortgages on office buildings must be refinanced this year. The industry is dealing with both substantial vacancies, which drives down property values, along with higher interest rates. And those are just some of the issues that might be ahead, including derivatives as well as securities backed by risky corporate loans. So how do you prepare? For a lengthy recession or a financial crisis, you want to make sure you have more access to funds on demand. Keep your spending tight, build up an emergency fund, and take any overage and consider investing that into hard assets where you can. If you haven't had an opportunity to hedge your own portfolio, or maybe you haven't hedged enough, consider giving my friends at Goldline a call to help you. They are the only place from which I personally get my precious metals. And do not wait on this. The economic backdrop has plenty of risk. If you call Goldline at 800-319-9533 or visit goldline.com, they have a special right now for their Betsy Ross Freedom Round, which was designed by me and is exclusively available through Goldline. With a qualified purchase, get one copper Betsy Ross Freedom Round for free with every silver one that you purchase. That's 800-319-9533 or goldline.com. 
Only time will tell how bad the fallout will be. As I've said before, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. As history doesn't necessarily repeat, but as Mark Twain allegedly said, it often does rhyme. I'm Carol Roth for Goldline. I'll see you next time. The views and opinions expressed in this video are those of Carol Roth and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of Goldline or its parent company or affiliates. These views and opinions may have been previously disseminated in other media.